May I just request everyone to kindly keep their phones on silent mode? Seats will be there. May I request our president, Mr. Vikas Singh, and Mr. Pradeep Rai, Vice President, to kindly escort Honorable Mr. Justice N.B. Ramanna, Chief Justice of India, and Mr. Tushar Mehta, Learned Solicitor General of India, to the dais. <clears throat> I would once again request everyone to please kindly keep their phones on silent mode. Uh, may I request a senior member executive to kindly escort uh, Mr. Justice Honorable Mr. Justice Vinay Saran to the dais? I request Ms. Seema Patna, member executive, to kindly present a bouquet to Honorable Mr. Justice N. V. Ramanna, Chief Justice of India. May I request Ms. Mr. Kumar Gaurav, member executive, to kindly present a bouquet to Mr. Tushar Mehta, Learned Solicitor General of India. May I request Mr. Mukesh Kumar Singh, Member Executive, to present a bouquet to Honorable Mr. Justice Vinay Saran, Judge Supreme Court of India. May, may I request Mr. Vikas Gupta, Member Executive, <coughs> to present a bouquet to Mrs. Vinay Saran. May I request Ms. Anjali Chauhan, Member Executive, to present a bouquet to newly appointed Supreme Court Judge, Honorable Mr. Justice Sudhan Chaudhulia. Honorable Mr. Justice N. V. Ramanna, Chief Justice of India. Honorable Judges of the Supreme Court, Honorable Mr. Justice Vinish Saran, Mr. Tushar Mehta, Learned Solicitor General of India, Sri Vikas Singh, President SCBA, Sri Pradeep Rai, Vice President SCBA, Mr. Manoj Kumar Mishra, President Skora, Mr. Sneshish Mukherjee, Vice President Skora, Mr. Devrath, Secretary Skora, Senior Advocates, and my fellow colleagues at the bar, a very good evening to you all. First of all, on behalf of all Executive Committee, I would like to thank Honorable Mr. Justice N. V. Ramanna, Chief Justice of India, for giving us this auditorium for the farewell function and saving us from the scorching heat which was requested by us last time. I, I, I would also like to thank Honorable... I have not given anything. I, I'm, I'm coming to that, sir. Uh, I would also like to thank Honorable Judges Committee of Honorable Mr. Justice Yuyo Lalit, uh, Honorable Dr. Justice uh, Divai Chanchur, Honorable Mr. Justice Sanjeev Khanna, Honorable Mr. Justice B. R. Gawai, and Honorable Mr. Justice Sure Khan, who took out time, took out time two days back on a Sunday to visit the auditorium along with the executive committee members of the SCB and accepted our request to provide this auditorium for the farewell function. A big round of applause. <laughs> it is with the collective effort of the bar and the bench that for the first time a farewell function organized by SCB is being held in the auditorium here. Today we have gathered here to bid farewell to Honorable Mr. Justice Vinish Saran, who has been a very popular judge in the bar. May I now request Mr. Pradeep Rai, Senior Advocate and Vice President of SCBA to kindly give his welcome address.
Honorable Justice N.B. Ramanna, the Chief Justice of India, Honorable Judges of Supreme Court of India, Honorable Justice Ashok Bhushan, Chairman NCLAT, Honorable Justice Binish Sharan and Madam Sharan, Mr. Vikas Singh, President SCBA, Rahul Kausik, Secretary, Bar Association, our Executive Committee, Mr. Manoj Mishra, President of Escora, Mr. P. H. Parik, six time President of Supreme Court Bar Association, Mr. Snehasis Mukherjee, Vice President of Escora. I really thank Honorable Chief Justice of India, Honorable Judges Committee led by Honorable Justice Lalit, Justice Chandrachur, Justice Sanjeev Khanna, Justice Gawai, and Justice Surikant to make all the arrangements and make this hassle free. When two days back on Sunday, we were actually, when uh, this some, something was going on, Honorable Justice Gawai and Honorable Justice Surekant, the way they dealt with the matter, they even suggested that how chambers should be allotted. Justice Surekant sir shared a memory that how he actually allotted the chambers in Chandigarh High Court. I am really very, very thankful to Honorable Justice Lalister also that who said that you people have to decide how chambers has to be allotted. I am really grateful, sir, that this function is being organized here. And uh, in this function, you can see the smile on the faces of members of our bar who are really grateful to Honorable Chief Justice of India. And especially, we are thanking Honorable Justice Binish Charan because if it was not Justice Binish Charan's farewell, we may not have got it. This, this is a kind of, this is a kind of uh, perception. <laughs> I knew Justice, Honorable Justice Binish Saran, sir, for over two decades. I have seen him as a lawyer, as a top lawyer of the Allahabad High Court. I have seen him as a judge. We saw him as a judge of Karnataka High Court. We saw him as Chief Justice of Odisha High Court, and we have seen him 1373 days here in Supreme Court of India. My Lord Justice Saran has contributed immensely in the institution, especially he has encouraged the younger members of the bar, lady members of the bar, and each and everyone who has appeared before Lordship, they, are, they have been actually obliged and sometimes they have come out with a smiling face after appearing before the Lordship because the style, the way he dismisses the petition, that also <laughs> gives, a, <laughs> gives a kind of encouragement. Lordship has many hobbies. Lordship plays golf. Lordship is fond of traveling. And I gathered from Kartike Saran the eldest son of Lordship, that he used to drive a lot. During the, as a lawyer also, he used to travel a lot, and not abroad, obviously, in India, and, uh, but he is fond of traveling, and he's fond of seeing the places. He plays tennis. Mr. Vikas Singh was not aware that he is a good, very good tennis player. Otherwise, he would have taken him in his team, and he could have won, defeated me. But he lost because he, <laughs> because, because he, have, he was overconfident. So next time he has promised me that he is going to win, but I am challenging, sir, it is very difficult for you. <laughs> Justice Saran is a very caring person. He is friend of friends. All the friends of Justice Saran who has been with him during the college time, they are still friends. Certainly, Honorable Justice Vikram Nath and Justice Krishna Murari, sir, you people are going to miss him. But he is still in Delhi. so. We all can interact. I will, we will also offer the birthday cakes tomorrow, sir, and we will wish you a very happy birthday. Here in this gathering, Honorable Madam Uma Sharanji is here. His elder son, Kartike Sharan, is there. Daughter in law, Sagun Sharan, is there. He has a very lovely, cute grandson, Kinse Sharan. Younger son, Nilesh Sharan, is there. He is into film and editing and all. Then, uh, daughter, Sivani. He is also in the, with the same interest. His son-in-law, Saurabh, he is a business in the eco-friendly uh, stationary items and all. 
Lordship, your contribution to this institution will be remembered. We are not going to allow you to retire because retirement word is not a good word. You are going to contribute further. You all are leaders of the bar. I have seen you that whenever you all talk to us, you talk, to, talk in the interest of bar. And that is, resembles the, I, this gathering and it also resembles by the way you all dealt with the issues. My Lord, you are fond of traveling, SCBA, and I have started a uh, air ticket discounting scheme where you all get 30% discount on air tickets. <laughs> that is straight away offered to you, business class. And not only this, even we are going to start few other schemes for the members, including housing and all. In addition to the discounting scheme of hotels, discounting scheme of even beverages and food and all. So those facilities can be actually availed by Lordship, especially the first card will be given to Lordship by tomorrow. <laughs> Lordship has given several judgments that I don't want to mention because it may be a bit boring. And uh, Lord, because we all know, you all are, we all are lawyers and honorable judges, learned persons are here. Again, I will, I, while finishing my speech, I will thank again to Honorable Justice Gawai and Honorable uh, Justice Surikant and Honorable Justice, uh, Justice Lalit sir for uh, actually giving us an opportunity to hold the programs here. Now, the parking issue has also been settled indirectly. The way the Justice Lalit sir handles the registry, that is also actually a kind of direction <laughs> that you see you have to work in the interest of bar. So we are fortunate to have at least judges from the bar, Anwar Justice Lalit and Justice Nageshwar Rao sir. Sir, 20 days to go, you all have to do something for the bar, Justice Nageshwar Rao sir. <laughs> the, once you retire, they will not have, they will not win in the cricket match. So they, they have to find out a new cricketer. Thank you so much and I, uh, I really, uh, I am grateful that Honorable Justice Binish sir and Honorable Chief Justice of India, Honorable SD sir, they all consented, they are here. I am grateful to everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pradeep sir. We are very hopeful the way this auditorium issue was dealt with. We are soon going to get the chambers also. <laughs> <laughs> May I now request Mr. Tushar Mehta, Learned Solicitor General of India, to kindly deliver his address. My Lord, the Honorable Chief Justice of India, Justice Ramanna Saab, my Lord Justice Vinit Saran, Mrs. Saran and family, the Honorable Judges of the Supreme Court of India present here, my colleagues, my friend Vikas Singh, President of Supreme Court Bar Association, Pradeep Rai, Rahul Kaushik, and office bearers of SCBA, Manoj Kumar Mishra, President Skora, Snehasis Mukherjee, Vice President Skora, and my dear friends. I am a proxy counsel on behalf of the learned Attorney General because he has some minor health issue. Friends, it is a really bitter moment when you have to bid farewell to a retiring judge of a court before whom you have appeared, who have nurtured you, taught you, you have learnt a lot. Justice Saran has served as a judge of this court for about four years since August 2018. No account of judicial service rendered is complete without first mentioning the background and the path travelled by his lordship in his journey to the Supreme Court. My lord's first inning started as a lawyer in Allahabad High Court, one of the oldest high courts in the country. He built a robust practice on the original and appellate side. During his years as advocate, my Lord Justice Saran was appointed as special counsel for the central government as well as state government and had appeared on behalf of various sect public sector companies. In 1995, my Lords were appointed as and served as additional advocate general for the state of Gujarat for the state of Uttar Pradesh. The second inning of his lordship started from the year 2002 
on 14th February 2002, Justice Saran was elevated as a judge of Allahabad High Court. Justice Saran holds a very rare distinction of having been on the bench of four different High Courts. Allahabad High Court, thereafter Chief Justice as Karnataka High Court and Orissa High Court, and fourth, the highest constitutional court of the country, namely the Supreme Court of India. During his lordship's tenure at the Supreme Court, his lordship has delivered or been a part of the bench in 325 judgments, most notable of which are mostly constitution bench judgment, and his lordship's contribution in shaping the law and jurisprudence of this nation has been remarkable. The role of a judge is a very tight rope walk, for the judge must maintain a delicate balance between being human and being a judge who is to deliver justice within the legal constraints. In criminal cases that came before his lordship, Justice Saran exhibited his humane face and extended his judicial powers to ensure that every accused was given full protection of law. Today, my Lord Justice Saran is not retiring, but is starting the third inning of his life, and that is a free life doing whatever he chooses to do. For Madam just Mrs. Saran, I have to say something. It is normally believed that when a person retires, wife gets 100% of lawyer and 50% of income. But in case of Justice Saran, neither of these two is going to be true. I'm sure Justice Saran is going to be equally busy and maybe earning much, much, much more than what he has been earning. I also re realized that Justice Saran is fond of golf and he could not pursue that because of several commitments and the host of bundles of files present in, on his desk. Now his lordship will be able to pursue that interest also. Justice Saran has always been live, a live human being, and that liveliness in him as a human being will ensure that he will have many dreams to fulfill which he could not, as a judge is required to lead a secluded life. Friends, on behalf of the Government of India, on behalf of the Learned Attorney General for India, and on my behalf, I bid a very loving farewell to my Lord Justice Saran and wish him a very happy, contented, satisfied, and a very healthy life ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, for giving us insight to the life of Honorable Mr. Justice Vineet Charan. May I now request Mr. Vikas Singh, Senior Advocate and President SCBA to kindly deliver his address. My Lord, the Chief Justice of India, Justice Vineet Saran and his family members, Honorable Judges of this Court, Learned Solicitor General, Mr. Tushar Mehta, members of the Executive Committee of SCBA, members of the SCORA, members of the Bar. Today, we are assembled here to do a painful task. And I say painful because when we see or bid farewell to a popular judge, it is definitely a pain for the bar. But still, we also wish him that in his future endeavor, he will be happy and he will do better in life, I will say in his third innings. First inning, I would say, was the innings as a lawyer, second inning as a judge, and third inning will be as a retirement from, from a judge. Today's day is very special for the bar, because today 
under the helm of Justice Ramanna, we are really made to feel that we are equal stakeholders in this institution. I, I, was, I was skeptical when it used to be said in these gatherings that we are equal partners. I used to feel it is only lip service. But today, this lip service is turning into a reality. And I can say with so much of happiness that now all our functions of the bar will be held here. And this is a great moment for us, for the future endeavors of the bar. We will really be able to use this auditorium for a lot of fruitful purposes like lectures, lecture series, discussions, and other functions where the bar can be enriched by using this facility. Because every time setting up a facility, there was a huge cost to the bar, and we are going through a very bad phase as far as the members are concerned. And spending that kind of money was not possible. Now with this auditorium, I'm sure our activities will increase a lot, and we will be able to do a lot for the bar. So thank you, Justice Ramanna, and the team, judges team, who took out so much of time to see that this becomes true for the bar. Justice Saran is a man of varied personality and has been a great asset to this court and his presence in the halls of the Supreme Court would be dearly missed. Justice Saran will be remembered for his polite demeanor, his ability to understand complex issues within a spot so short span of time, his encouragement to the junior members of the bar his erudite and scholarly judgments. Justice Saran, born in 1957 in Bijnor, belongs to an illustrious legal family, and his father, Mr. A.B. Saran, was a very known senior advocate in the Allahabad High Court. Justice Saran graduated from Allahabad University in the year 1976 and obtained his LLB degree in the year 1980. He enrolled as an advocate with the UP Bar Council on 28-780 and started his practice in the Allahabad High Court. Justice Saran went on to become the additional advocate general for the state of UP in the year 1995 and was elevated as a judge of the Allahabad High Court on the 4th of 14th of February 2002. Justice Saran is a keen sportsman and while he represented his university in tennis, which of course information was withheld from me till now I came to know only today, he enjoys playing a number of sports like squash, cricket, badminton and golf. Unfortunately, in the two tournaments that he participated on behalf, of the, on behalf of the judges of the Supreme Court, unfortunately, he did not have good form, so we could dismiss him easily. <laughs> but we hope to see better form now if he gets more time to practice the game. He also plays badminton golf. He's also a keen chess and a carom player, and also cards. There is a game in Allahabad called marriage, which he loves to play. And there was a time in his, in his college days where he used to spend till late night, of course, play, playing only with very close friends, uh, a, a modified form of rummy. He is also very fond of biking and driving. And that's, that shows that it's a very, very varied, varied personality. And, it's something which I can identify myself to do. I also used to, I am also a sports person and I also have done a lot of biking. I tried to do biking even recently, but with this pollution in the city, I had to give up. Justice Saran is a man of focus and detail and is committed to the cause of justice delivery. In his own words, though everyone has their own ambitions, little did he think when he chose to pursue the legal profession that he would reach such heights. In fact, once in a departure from the usual practice, Justice Saran was asked by the then Chief Justice of the Allahabad High Court to preside over a bench along with another judge in the Chief Justice's court itself as the Chief Justice had to suddenly leave along with another judge to Lucknow. Justice Saran's father, who would never ever step into Justice Saran's courtroom, walked into the Chief Justice's court where Justice Saran was presiding. Later on in the day, when Justice Saran asked his father as to why did he enter his courtroom, something which he had never done before, he replied that on getting to know that his son was presiding over a bench in the Chief Justice's court, he wanted to see his son there as he was not sure whether he would be able to live long enough to actually see his son become a Chief Justice from there. <laughs> Destiny, however, had much greater heights in store for Justice Saran. 
as after serving as a judge of the Allahabad High Court for 13 years, Justice Saran was transferred a judge in the High Court of Karnataka on 16th of February 2015 and was later elevated as a judge of the Orissa High Court and later on Chief Justice of the Orissa High Court. When he was leaving Allahabad to join at Karnataka, he chose to go by train and the entire station was full of seven to eight hundred lawyers who came to see him off. That kind of popularity he was having in the Allahabad High Court and he still continues to have it even in this court. On 7 8 18, Justice Saran was elevated a judge. As a judge, he was inspired by the demeanor of Justice A.P. Mishra, a judge of this court, and he was one of his first people Justice Saran met when he was appointed a judge in the High Court. I remember once a bright young lawyer of this court, Shantanu Krishna, had briefed me in a matter. As I was getting late to reach for the matter, I told Shantanu that you start with the matter because after Passover, it was not likely to reach and there were some urgent orders which were required in the matter. When I reached the court, Shantanu was briefing the, arguing the matter. So with the moment he saw me, he wanted me to take over. Justice Saran said, no, sorry, Mr. Singh. He is doing a very good job. Let him argue. And Shantanu single-handedly argued the matter. I, he said, if I require you, I'll call upon you. He didn't call upon me because he said he's done a very good argument. He got the orders also straight away. So that kind of encouragement to a young member of the bar is something which is really, really praiseworthy. It really, is really, really gives up. Justice Saran is a strong believer of quality over quantity and believes that court craft is an indispensable tool for a lawyer. According to him, even if you have a deep knowledge of the subject but lack court craft, you would be lacking in getting justice for your client. According to Justice Saran, a lawyer must be alert enough to observe the responses of the judge and mold his argument accordingly. And this is, uh, I think, a very, very valuable advice to all of us because this is where we, we sometimes keep on driving our point, realizing that the judge has something completely different in mind. And we in, this, in the process, there is a complete disconnect in the argument. So I really appreciate this kind of uh, 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 advice of Justice Saran. During his tenure as a Supreme Court judge, Justice Saran has delivered a number of landmark judgments, with, including the Constitution judgments. Some of the notable judgments are in the TN Medical Officers Association, in the Chebrulu Leela Prasad Rao, in the State of Punjab versus Devinder Singh, which was on reservation, was not completed, contemplated for all time by the framers of the Constitution. <coughs> On the other hand, there is an exclusion of those who have come up. On the other hand, if the subject classification is decide, denied, it would defeat the right of equality by treating unequal as equal. In Imperia structure versus Anil Patni, I had the benefit of arguing that matter before Justice Saran and Justice uh, Lalit, where they held that the RERA Act will apply also, and the Consumer Protection Act is not ousted for consumers. Apart from law, Justice Saran is an avid traveler. He particularly enjoys trying out local cuisines in different places and also makes it a point to catch international sporting events wherever possible. One of his favorite countries is England, since according to him, one can relate to the areas from books and board games like Monopoly. Justice Saran also likes watching movies, apart from the few times when he watches very serious movies, usually prefers light movies and TV shows to de-stress from work. Another interesting fact about Justice Saran is that he loves eating sandwiches. And he can survive on sandwiches for days together without eating anything else. That is his inclination for sandwiches. Justice Saran also loves hosting parties. And I believe his parties in Holi and in New Year in Allahabad were well known. And people used to be really, really looking forward to the holy parties where all of the frolicking would go on and the New Year parties where the music and dance would go on where Justice Saran himself, an avid dancer, would definitely like to participate in the dance programs at his home. He's a family man, makes it a point to travel with his whole family. Justice Saran has three children, two sons and one daughter. One of his children, Karthike, who's here today, has followed his footstep and is an advocate in the Allahabad High Court. Post-retirement, Justice Saran wants to engage himself with some arbitration and travel much more 
which, which he has been denied in these years. He does not intend to become too busy and says that he would prefer to travel somewhere at least once a month. He jokingly says that if he does not get arbitration work, he would be happy to go back to Allahabad and start revive his holy and newer parties. <laughs> Justice Saran, he had a scholarly judge. We had the, he who had the ability to make all lawyers appearing before him feel comfortable with his friendly demeanor. In his retirement, the bench is losing an invaluable judge and the bar is losing a great human being. He has always been supporting to the bar and I on behalf of the entire Supreme Court Bar Association family would wish him the very best in his third innings. Thank you. Thank you, Vikas, sir. Justice Saram was always very encouraging to the younger members of the bar, and we just got to know that he is a very keen sportsman also. May I now request Honorable Mr. Justice N. V. Ramanna, Chief Justice of India, to kindly give his address. Brother Justice Vinit Saran, my brother and sister judges, Sri Tushar Mehta, Solicitor General of India, Sri Vikas Singh, President and Office Bearers and members of the Supreme Court Bar Association, Mr. Pradeep Rai, Vice President, Mr. Rahul Kausik, Secretary, Sri Manoj Kumar Mishra, Is President and Office, office Bearers of the members of the Supreme Court Advocate on the Cards Association, Law officers, senior advocates, and members of the bar, family members of Justice Vinish Saran, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Let me first clear me uh, clear the doubt, the opinion expressed by uh, the secretary as well as the president. Uh, in fact, uh, the entire credit, whatever, has to go to the members of the committee. Justice Lalit, Justice. Dhananjay Chandrachur, this is uh, Surekan, this is Gawai and Kanna. I did nothing. I entrusted the, ma uh, the demands of the Bar Association, particularly about the, uh, so this auditorium and other things. They worked hard, and uh, even though, as usual, Vikas Singh Saab has some serious uh, observations and all that, and uh, ultimately they solved the problem. I am very happy. Any achievement uh, we I have got it during last one year of my tenure as a Chief Justice. It is a collective decision and we all get the credit gift should go to all of us, not individuals. <coughs> I thank all my brothers and members of the bar that who stand behind me in all the days. <laughs> I, will, I believe in democratic way of functioning and any decisions we must receive the suggestions and we must allow the, everyone's uh, view has to be respected and take decisions, then only it will work well. This is how I believe. And uh, he said, right, we are equal partners, no doubt, but uh, some areas, some restrictions will be there that I hope that uh, Mr. Vikas Singh will understand better. <laughs> now coming back to Brother Vinish Saran, there is no need for me to re, uh, reproduce or reiterate the date of birth, where he studied, where he practiced, where he became judge and all that. He worked <coughs> in three different courts, uh, Allahabad, Karnataka, and thereafter Varissa. Wherever he worked, he got very good name, not only name, he has taken care of the issues pending there and uh, he worked together with the members of the Bar Association and brother judges. So he achieved a lot of great things. I hope <coughs> that all this was imbibed from the, uh, the inherited uh, from his father, who is uh, a senior advocate from Allahabad, Anand Bhushan Saran. I am fortunate that I visited Allahabad and unveil his portrait also. And. Uh, <laughs> He is one of the most respected uh, senior advocate in that bar association, and he is running a charitable organizations also. 
working closely with his uh, son, Jesse Swinnison. I can state that I, I can state that uh, my brother has imbibed some of the, his best qualities by watching his eminent father. This is uh, Sharon is a compassionate person, conscious of the social realities. People with genuine cause would never be go empty from his court. There is a saying that the law is the true embodiment of everything that is excellent. I firmly believe judges themselves should personify the fairness and equity which our legal system is built upon him. And the other day I was told that some last day of his working, some of the lawyers say that you are a very popular judge. Jesse Seren said, no, don't call me as a popular judge, call me as a fair and equitable judge. I rate him as a fair and equitable judge. Jesse, at the same time, Jesse Seren is a man of people. And wherever he has gone, he earned that reputation. And uh, retirement means that he may get some freedom, which he lost as a judge. He is regaining it again. And uh, after emptying his office, he need not bother about the restrictions which the office had. He is a free man, free citizen. He can express his opinions freely and he can enjoy his life. And I asked him much before his retirement, what is your future plans? Are you going to take up any? He said, no, I don't want anything. I want to work freely and I want to be a free citizen. That's what he said it. Now, I hope that uh, he is uh, going to stay in Delhi. He is going to do some arbitration work or otherwise he want to enjoy his personal life. Uh, Saran is a very close friend of mine that uh, I am really emotional because all the times, not only now, nine, I remember 2002 onwards, uh, we both uh, used to be friends because I am also one of the members of the Allahabad Judges Cooperative Housing Society. Those days when I come from Hyderabad, I used to come from Allahabad, we used to sit in the meetings, long uh, one day, full day meetings and discuss several issues. So from that time onwards, I'm maintaining, he is maintaining the contact. And even in Bangalore, in Varissa also, he used to come and meet me. And that's how we had a friendship. So he's a strong supporter of mine and always stand by me in any good times, bad times. So it's a great virtue of this is CERN. I take uh, this opportunity to say goodbye to him and uh, I want to say in regards to Srimati Uma Saran who stand by him all these days, difficult days and his children and I wish everyone of their family and him a very healthy and prosperous life. Thank you friends for giving the opportunity. Thank you, sir. Justice Saran was, as rightly pointed out, was, was always a very fair and equitable judge. May I now request Honorable Mr. Justice Vineet Saran, Judge Supreme Court of India, to kindly deliver his address. <coughs> Namaskar, and a very, very good evening to all of you. Honorable Chief Justice of India, Mr. Justice N.V. Ramana and my brother and sister judges, past and present. Mr. Tushar Mehta, Land Solicitor General of India. Mr. Vikas Singh, President, Supreme Court Bar Association. <laughs> Mr. Pradeep Rai, Vice President, SCBA. Mr. Manoj Kumar Mishra, President, SCORA. Mr. Rahul Kaushik, Secretary, SCBA. My friend, members of the bar, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Well, today is a day 
when I'd like to speak to my friends, my family members, uh, Bar is a family for me, straight from the heart and without reading out or uh, reading out a speech from my side. Because when you, when you sit with your family and friends, you don't decide what you have to speak, you speak from the heart. <coughs> well, the it's always said that uh, the bar and the bench are the wheels of uh, uh, two wheels of a chariot. That is, in my view, absolutely correct. But I would just like to add something to that. That uh, the chariot, which uh, is generally talked about, should be the um, chariot on which uh, Lord Krishna and Arjun were there. Lord Krishna used to guide, and Arjun used to fire. Fire means uh, not pay. And it is only the combination of the two which worked. So in the present scenario, in my opinion, it is the bar which is Lord Krishna which guides the, uh, which always guided Arjun, which is the bench, the, member, the judges. And that is how the entire uh, procedure goes and uh, that is how we have achieved success and that is how the coordination is. <laughs> The role played by the members of the R is as important, if not more, than that of the judges. Without there being a proper guidance and assistance from the bar, no judge can write a uh, good judgment. It's only the quality of the judgment always depends on the quality of the arguments uh, which have been advanced by the bar, members of the bar. So in this example, the bar members are Lord Krishna, and uh, they are the persons who always guide the uh, judges and take them forward. <clears throat> Another thing I would like to share is that as a member of the bar, I always used to think that uh, one has prepared the case for six hours, 10 hours, put in so many hours and days of labor, gone and argued before the judge, and judge has nothing to do. He is, we've given him all the crux of the matter. He's just to decide the matter. But now coming this side for, I've spent two decades both sides approximately. So coming this side, I realized that uh, the bar members, one side they come argue 15 minutes, half an hour. The other side comes and argues for another 15 minutes, half an hour. We get totally confused. We don't, we have to decide, the, the bar is not doing anything, we are doing everything. So what I want to say is the, uh, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. When you're that side, you feel this side, uh, you're doing everything. When we are this side, we always feel that it's the other side, which is doing everything. But another thing I, which I'd like to say is that uh, as uh, Mr. Vikas Singh has said that code craft is very necessary for uh, the members of the bar and that is right. One should, as I advised uh, yesterday in the meeting of SCORA, young members of the bar, they, uh, most of them in the beginning, they don't have much work. They should, uh, uh, my advice to them, which I gave yesterday and I repeat, that they should sit in the courtrooms when they have free time instead of sitting and uh, whiling time in the coffee uh, canteen or having coffee. They should uh, watch the judges. They must uh, know what the judge wants. And that is also part of, to learn that is also part of court craft. Because if a judge wants a particular thing, maybe as I always said, now I'm demanding office, so I can say, as I always said, if uh, you give me a good uh, date chart, one page, then I'll be, uh, I, I'm more likely to decide the case early. Because that's what I want. Maybe some other judges want something. So that is what is to be watched by the judge. Well, if I may <coughs> say that that code craft is something which is necessary, not only for the uh, lawyers, but judges also need to um, do some code craft. I'll, I'll share in uh, my own code craft, which I have uh, followed. It, normally, I don't like to get angry, and I 
generally don't, and I have hardly got angry in court, but yes, as a matter of court craft, I have had to show that I'm angry and maybe sometimes scold the, uh, some of the lawyers, but that's not uh, actual, but that's for a show, or maybe that's a court craft of the judge, which uh, one has to do to monitor the court proceedings. So I'm sure if I've hurt any feelings of any of the members of the bar, any uh, in my uh, saying anything, I'm sure I'll be excused for that because I never meant to, um, to harm anybody or uh, hurt anybody. So that is uh, because there's some, some court crafts which the judges also need to know and learn and that's what we do. So this is what one uh, thing which I was sharing with you. I have uh, had wonderful innings as a judge in the last about two, more than two decades, about four years in the Supreme Court, earlier also I enjoyed. I did whatever best I could and I cherish all the memories of the last four years that I've had. It's a wonderful bar and the members of the bar are very pleasant. I have uh, had a great experience over here and I must congratulate that 90% or more of the judges, always, of the lawyers always come prepared and assist the court uh, very well and uh, they're very pleasant. I have found them very pleasant and very nice to me. I must thank them. I must thank for all the cooperation that I've got from the bar in the last four years. I am sure the bar members will continue to um, do so in future also. And that's what my experience is. I, I'll cherish all the, mem uh, all the memories that I've had in the last four years over here. Well, uh, Mr. Vikas Singh seems to have done a lot of research about me and uh, uh, some uh, positive, negative things also. And I can see my two friends sitting over here who must have, who must have definitely informed him about the sandwiches part because I know when we used to go to Lucknow together regularly and I used to carry sandwiches and my brother, um, especially Justice uh, Krishnamurai never liked sandwiches and he used to curse me for that. That's he. He must have disclosed all that. The two of them, the two of them must have uh, done so. <coughs> well, uh, Honorable the Chief Justice has also been very kind, has also spoken very kind words about me. I don't know what Mr. Vikas Singh and Mr. Uh, the Honorable Chief Justice and Mr. Tushar Mehta have spoken about me, whether I deserve them or not. But I thank all of you for the lovely time that I have had over here. And in cricketing terms, which I said in the morning, I may repeat, I am uh, I'm the batsman who's facing the last over and at the moment the last ball. And I hope to face it well and uh, remain not out. Thank you very much. And I, I thank all the members of the bar. Thank you. Namaskar. Thank you, sir. In your tenure of around three years and nine months as a Supreme Court judge, you have given numerous landmark judgments and was very encouraging to the younger members of the bar and always conducted the court with a smile. And it is an emotional moment for the bar and the bar is going to miss you a lot. Now I'll read the message given by Honorable Mr. Justice Vineet Saran, Judge Supreme Court of India, to the members of the bar. When I assumed office as a judge of this esteemed court in 2018, little did I imagine that the members of this bar would shower on me such affection and cordiality. I feel immensely fortunate to have received your invaluable assistance and am truly honored for the incessant and unrelenting cooperation that the members of this bar have always extended to me. While I communicate my utmost respect and admiration to the senior members of the bar, I say this with a sense of pride that I have had the fortunate pleasure to interact with such bright minds of the next generation who have in them the versatility that is required to take the glory of this legendary institution to newer heights. I have always believed that the magnificence of this court and the edifice of its justice is incomplete without the contribution from the members of the bar. Today, I feel fortunate to be living with fond memories and I shall cherish every moment spent with the bar members in this institution. I extend my wholehearted thanks to all of them and expect that they would continue to assist, support, and nourish this court with their knowledge, conduct, and perseverance. 
Having spent over four decades in the profession of law, the first half, first half of it at the bar and the second, second half at the bench, it is difficult for me to bid farewell. I know that from my heart and soul, I shall always remain a member of this fraternity and cherish my association with it. I wish all of you the very best for your professional and personal pursuits. I hold you all very dear to me and the members of this bar shall always have my best wishes. God, may God bless you all. Thank you, sir, for your kind, warm and encouraging words for the members of the bar. May I now request the whole executive committee to present a memento on behalf of SCBA to Honorable Mr. Justice Vinish Saran, Judge Supreme Court of India. May I request all the EC members to kindly come on the dais. <coughs> Sorry? May I now request Mr. Rohit Pandey, Joint Secretary SCBA, to kindly give vote of thanks. Thank you, Rahul. We are grateful to Honorable Mr. Justice N.V. Ramana, Honorable the Chief Justice of India, for accepting our invitation for presiding the function. We are thankful to Honorable Mr. Justice Vini Saran, the Supreme Court of India, and his family members for accepting our invitation to attend this function. I thank Honorable Judges of Supreme Court of India and Honorable Retired Judges of Supreme Court of India for gracing the occasion. I thank Mr. Tushar Mehta, London Solicitor General of India and, learn, and law officers, senior members and members of the bar. Mr. Manoj Misra, President Iskora, Mr. Deobrath Secretary Iskora, Mr. Sanasis Mukherjee, Vice President Iskora, Mr. V.K. Vansal, London Secretary General, Mr. Rajesh Goyal, Mr. Auni Pal Singh and other registrars of Supreme Court, media persons, office bearers and members of the Executive Committee of different bar association and other distinguished guests and respected members of the bar for gracing the occasion. Kindly join us for the high tea on, on the ground floor. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Please join us for, for, for snacks on the ground floor. <laughs>